it, I, I just can't, I don't know what to say about this, man. This brother was killed. Yes, gun memorial. Another dead black dude. However, Baton Rouge, a city where we covered a few months ago. Last time, I think we did a story on Baton Rouge. Five slain in one day. Baton Rouge. Now listen, there's a hundred cities that you would name before you would name Baton Rouge. A hundred cities. You can just go down the eastern seaboard, throughout the southeast of the country, the Midwest, the West Coast, and there's a hundred cities you would name before you name Baton Rouge. Between 7.15 a.m. and 9.30 p.m. So technically, it wasn't the whole day. It was just like working hours. Nine to five. Working nine to five. God dog, you niggas. Between seven fifteen and nine thirty PM Friday at least five people were shot and killed in an eruption of gun violence in Baton Rouge. One man was found shot to death in a motel Friday morning. Two people were killed in a midday shooting on Sherwood Forest Boulevard. Another person was found dead at a gas station on Airline Highway in the evening. And one person was killed amid reports of a shooting on Astor Street. Here's what we know about each shooting. Two people shot to death on Sherwood Forster Boulevard in a robbery at a cell phone store. Two people were shot and killed on the... <laughs> One was the robber and the other a retail employee. Here's the cell phone store employee, Mahmoud Kalaf, dead to the doorknob. A business owner was shot to death in the midday robbery Friday on South Sherwood Forest Boulevard and someone else apparently killed the robber as he tried to run away. Timothy McCoy went into Wise Communications at 2629 South Sherwood Forest Boulevard around noon. Police say he robbed and shot Mahmoud Kalaf, the business owner. As McCoy was leaving the store, a third person saw what happened and shot McCoy as he exited the business. Talk about instant karma. Now... It, I wonder if this person's a white guy who shot this brother, man. Because you may have a civil rights story down there in 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 um in Baton Rouge soon. It wasn't none of his business, and I don't know how I feel about that. Like a random person could take, like. Where does that end? Where does that rabbit hole end? Now, if that guy's running down with the street with a gun and he's menacing and that guy would have thought that he might have been the next victim, then I get it. But I don't know. I don't know. That's a slippery slope, man, especially with all this wokeness going on. I don't know. I wonder what you guys think about that. Somebody robbed the store. You see it. You see them shoot the shop owner and running down the street with the bag of loot. You get to shoot them and kill them. I don't know. 
may if it was someone at the store who worked at the store too but the way they're phrasing it and making it look like it was somebody who didn't even work at the store if it was a co-worker i get it but just some random guy like oh damn what the fuck going on oh shit you robbing that joint oh shit he shot him where my gun at man bang 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 i don't know that's tough man The Arab community better not say shit, though. <laughs> they better not act like they got attitude about this shit. Alfonso Clinton Easley, Indianapolis. How many of y'all knew that Indianapolis had 215 murders this year? Indianapolis. Another, I mean, I would think of a bunch of cities before I thought of Indianapolis that's not the that's not one of the main I would think of the major city in the United States yeah they got a football team and whatnot but there's a hundred cities I would name before Indianapolis 215 people dead there the vast majority and I mean the vast majority like 98 percent of them are Negroes concerned. Um, our officers are concerned. We'll continue to stand with the community. I've said it before um, to com combat gun violence. An investigation underway into a deadly shooting on the city's northeast side Thursday night, now becoming the 215th homicide of 2020 and the second in less than one month at the same apartment complex. You're not just hurting someone who you, who's, who's the victim, but you're going to be held accountable and responsible at some point. And so you have to think about your own family. Um, before you pick up that firearm and, 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 and hurt someone. Family members say the man killed is 34-year-old Alfonso Easley. They describe him as a, quote, authentic philosopher and a caregiver helping anyone who called upon him. Tonight, they want whoever is responsible to come forward, and police need the public's help as they continue gathering information. So important for those community members, whenever we have a, a homicide or someone is shot due to gun violence, that those community members give us information. You can always remain anonymous. Family of Easley says they want everyone to know he was a good man and community activists say the gun violence in the city has to stop, calling it worse than ever before. I don't know what the solution can be on that besides us trying to get more guns off of the streets, but it seems like the more guns we get off the streets, the more guns get... These black activists be coming up with the worst solutions. Nobody got worse solutions than a black activist. Just terrible solutions get the guns off the streets that's not the root of the problem <laughs> not the damn gun it's towns all over America mostly in red states where everybody got 50 guns and don't nobody leave a house without a gun It ain't no murders for a whole year. Maybe two or three. No non-domestic related murders. Non-domestic in, in violence or in the house or something like that. Murders. None. For the whole year. Get guns off the streets. It's a terrible solution. Back on the streets. Our officers are frustrated, as well as our community. I've said it before. We've got to figure out a way to resolve conflict resolution without picking up a handgun or, or a firearm and hurting someone. Now, we did reach out to the apartment complex where the deadly shooting happened, and they declined to comment. For now, reporting in downtown outside of IMPD headquarters, Courtney Spinelli, Fox...
and those are just two stories from off the gun memorial um i'm going to come back with you guys um try to come back each week and give you guys a little something off the gun memorial especially um for, for those of you with green cards i'm still going to do a weekly video for you guys with visas but i'm gonna do something special for the for the people for those of you who have green cards so this is so i'm gonna do a weekly roundup of the gun memorial every week and um we'll be able to um you know give you a, a what's going on in the country with as far as murder and as far as you know the the, the faces behind the, the the people behind the little blurbs in the in the newspaper these are real people who died um because I really don't do those do do those videos on my main page like that anymore where I just talk about the gun memorial I don't really do those pictures those on um, videos anymore but I still want to keep you guys abreast of the gun memorial and knowing what's going on in your in this great country so I think I'm going, what I'm going to do is every week I'm going to do a video for those of you with visas, a members only video for those of you with visas, and then a members only video for those of you with green cards. And the members only video for those of you with green cards will be a roundup, and I'll probably go more and more in depth as we move on. But just to just to give you guys this video, just to sh just as a to, to throw this out here to see if that's what something that you guys would like. So get in the comment section and, and let me know what's going on. If that's something that you guys with green cards would like, and um, we'll move on from there. So I'll read the comments and I'll be in the comment section. Peace.